welcome again glorious glow empowerment coach here some of you know me as coach glory it's so awesome to be great to be here <laughs> again today so what i do normally is um i post on social media every day so i go to um, facebook linkedin um, instagram and all these platforms and i post daily okay so once i've posted every day and then on fridays i do my live videos so that's why every friday at 12 noon i'd like you to join me hoping that you've read all my posts okay you've read all the posts i put out every day and then we can have a chat you know just a relaxed chat on friday okay so if you have anything to say any comments and things like that please leave them in the comment section i would like to know if you are watching that encourages me it's always encouraging to know that you're here you're with me you're listening and watching okay and if you have any questions on any of the topics i have posted so far please go ahead and ask one of the um posts i put up today or let me see when did i put the post up during the week actually one of the posts i put up was on courage as you can see from the title of this video we are going to be looking at courage so i often talk to women my audience are mainly women and i call them queens so that's why i have this on today this um and that <laughs> i have this headband all right on for you ladies for my queens out there because you are all worth it okay don't allow anyone put you down for any reason all right so one of the posts i put up this week do let me know if you can hear me because last week i did a whole video and there was no sound so do let me know if you can hear me that would be great all right so today i'm talking about courage as mentioned earlier and i said courage doesn't always roar okay sometimes it is the little voice at the end of the day that says i'll try again tomorrow so have you failed at something you try to do and you haven't quite succeeded and, and then you've maybe given up on yourself so i'm here to say there is another day there is tomorrow you may not be as confident as you'd like to be today <laughs> but don't give up keep pushing okay keep pushing because it's okay to fail failure doesn't mean you should stay down all right so many women have failed go back in history and look at the record so many people have failed and they try carried on trying trying and trying and trying try and try again one day you will succeed okay so when it comes to career and all of that women we have a lot of obstacles to overcome so many hurdles to cross all right and there are lots of external hurdles hurdles external barriers for example women experience things like harassment harassment in various forms there's a um, a gap in gender pay all these are externals all right these are things that women experience on the external and then on the internal you have that inner voice that comes and says you're not good enough remember that voice that inner voice and then you have maybe lack of confidence you lack confidence for various reasons maybe experiences you've had in the past and all of that as a result you now lack confidence and you feel there's no point there's no point in trying you know there's no point doing whatever it is you you had in mind okay and you think about other people what they will say what they will think about you and and all of that as a result you withdraw okay you you just don't want to give on keep on trying you give up and there's the imposter syndrome as well you know that voice in your head that says you are a fraud 
you know you don't believe in yourself and you feel you will be found out shortly and because of that you give up on your dreams have you ever had any of these experiences do you have experiences where you have that voice in you saying hmm you are soon going to be found out okay you're not good enough who are you to think you can lead others or to think you can have that kind of opinion or have authority in whatever area you are coming up as you know that syndrome that imposter syndrome it is real and it affects a lot of people all over the place we need to recognize when that voice within is trying to stop you okay from forging ahead also fear of the unknown you keep saying what if you try and you fail or what if you try and you're not as good as somebody else who may be doing the same thing you desire to go ahead and complete fear of the unknown holds so many people back now upbringing as well as you are growing up the way you are brought up you may be brought up to as women especially you are told oh you are a woman you can't do this oh women don't sit like that women don't talk like that as a woman you must be reserved you must be agreeable at all times you know don't be too ambitious you know that you are told don't be too ambitious as a woman you know keep it back who is going to marry you if you have your own house have your own car have your own ah, you may put the man off <laughs> you know it's really women just coming up single and, and all of that you know they are told don't be too ambitious you know just take it easy if you are too ambitious and the man that admires you is not as ambitious maybe doesn't have enough money or his job is not as good he may be put off so as women from little children we are told all these things so when we now grow up the same thing the patterns you start to see these patterns repeating itself that voice that you grew up with comes back up and start to say no you can't do this why do you th why should you go ahead and try you know then you, you are held back again all right so i went ahead i studied you must have heard this before i think i've shared this here before i studied um mass communication for my first degree and second degree and i majored in public relations and advertising from there um I went on to become the public relations manager of a company. This was back home in Nigeria. You know, after that, shortly after I moved to the UK after getting married and in the UK, it was difficult to get a job that matched that position as a public relations um, manager. So I became, um, what's it called? An admin assistant because I felt there's no point just applying and applying for those top positions I had the qualifications but I couldn't get through so I decided to keep myself busy in the meantime become um, an admin assistant in a big company in the city London Westminster okay in a very big company and I walked my way up became an admin officer you know before I left I was an admin officer then I um, went on maternity leave had my children my two sons and then um, I started to ask myself what do I do next this is not me this no this is not where I'm meant to be so I became I, I applied to become a teacher and then I've been a teacher now for over 13 years. I'm a UK qualified teacher. I've been a teacher for over 13 years. I still teach secondary school students, you see. So it's been a process. Where I am now and where I'm going, there has been a process. I was a very quiet, reserved child growing up. And I wouldn't have thought that I would one day be speaking to women. That I would one day have the courage to stand on a pulpit 
and talk to women about purpose. You see, so your story may be different from mine. I'm not saying you should do everything I have done. I'm not saying follow my process. You have your own process. So you need to look at yourself, where you are coming from, your story, and say, you know, it doesn't matter what has happened to you before. What can you do now? Where are you now? And how? What can you do to help you get to your destination where you know you need to be? You see? So I went on. On my way to work one day, <laughs> I felt something in me say, go and study psychology. He, by this time, I had my three children. I had my daughter. So, yeah, I've had my daughter. So I went back to university after being a teacher for um, so many years. I can't remember exactly how many years now. I went back to university again to study a um, master's and MSc in psychology. And having studied that, ha having studied that course has given me in-depth knowledge about human psychology, how humans behave, why they behave that way, and why sometimes people want to conform, you know, conformity. You want to conform and be likable by everyone, you know, you just want to be like everyone, you want to blend in. You don't want to use your voice, but you have a voice, you are unique, you have a purpose, there's an assignment for you, okay? You have a reason for being on earth. It is time to start, you know, carving your own way, your own path in life. So that was what I did. And then I went on to study um, mindfulness, Christian mindfulness. And that helps me, you know, and it helps, uh, helps me help my clients to understand what is really going on within. Because many times we look at the externals and we're like, oh, Maybe I should change this, have a plan, and all of that. But having all these accomplishments, I still felt there was something missing. So what did I do? I went to study. First, I signed up for one year. We call it like um, a Bible course for one year part-time while I worked. And then after the one year finished, I now went ahead to have um to complete the second year okay and in my first year i realized in my first year of studying the bible you know even more i had been to bible school before in nigeria um i think 19 19 98 1997 98 something like that you know and having come to the uk it's a different story here in the uk your the way things are quite different anyway life happens and all of that and you kind of lose touch with your in your knowledge of the word of god and what the word of god says and all of that you kind of have it head knowledge but in, it's not like going from the head to the heart kind of thing. So I went back. In my first year of being at this course, I realized who I am. I'm like, I knew who I was before. I, I've always known that I'm God's child. I'm a child of God. But somehow, having done this course even gave me greater, like deeper, took me deeper. And... I'm like, wow, I have all this authority. This is who I've been made to be, you see. And the courage even even grew. So which, with each accomplishment I had in life, um, layers of obstacles got peeled away. Layers, you know, the first layer was taken off. Second layer, and as I took layers off, I began to see myself for who I truly am. A child of God. And, I, and he has given me everything I need to excel in life. Okay? Everything. There's nothing he's held back from me. There's nothing he's held back from you. 
So why have you abandoned your dreams? What's holding you back? Do you know those gifts, those precious, beautiful gifts you have in you? Do you know what they are? So my purpose is to challenge women, everyone I come across, to wake up, get up, and understand that they are here for a purpose. They are here. We are all here for a reason. Okay? Now, some of us, some people abandon their dreams because they feel... I can't make money. <laughs> I can't make money from my dream. I can't make, I have this passion, this desire, but can I make money from it? Now, look at the world today. What has happened? There's a pandemic, global pandemic. Now, are you rushing off to that nine to five job that you had once had? So many have lost their jobs and so many have gone back to reflect and look within and they are now using, they are now discovering themselves, they are discovering new talents and they are beginning to, you know, learn, they are beginning to make their talents better so they can earn a living from it. So you see, we have been taken back to the bas basic, basic, <laughs> oh my lord, we are now back to the basic, okay, we are back to where we should be what we should be doing, what we should have done from the first place. Nobody is saying don't have a career. It's great to have a career. I'm a very ambitious person. Okay, I have my career, but at the same time, I'm pursuing my purpose. I'm pursuing my passions and all of that. Okay, so that's why I'm passionate about helping women. I'm passionate about supporting women. All right, and I have my six months program called passion purpose profit okay passion purpose profit i've given it that title because some of us have discovered our passions some haven't so irrespective of whatever category you belong to this course would help you even understand your passion more then move you on to the next level of discovering because sometimes we have more than one one passion you know we have so many desires in us but then how do you know which one to focus on so we move you on to the next stage which is the purpose understanding which one to focus on what's your purpose how can you begin to live according to your god-given purpose then the last bit which is profit we, I position you as an expert in that area so you can earn a living from it. You can, you know, support your family, support yourself, and live well as God intended you to. Remember, <laughs> many people say, oh, they have strategies in place, they have plans and all of that. God is the beginning and the end of your plans the beginning and the end of your purpose. He's put it in there in the first place. Okay? So there's no point living life, you know, running helter skelter without God. So what I do, I bring God into the equation because he's the only one that can help you discover what it is. Okay? My job is to facilitate. And then he comes in and we go deep, remove all those limitations, whatever it is, you know, that may have limited you, society, conditioning, okay, you know, upbringing, we remove those layers until you now flourish, okay, discover your potential and live according to what God has called you or who God has called you to be, all right, and then you become courageous so I'm encouraging you today, irrespective of how many times you have failed or you think you have failed, you can rise again. You can become who God has called you to be. I will be leaving a link to my six months program. It's a six months group program and I'm taking ladies on board right now. I'm so excited about the program. It will be great to see you all there. I'm registering ladies now, so click on it. And I hope to see you all there. Whatever you do, have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me live today. Okay. 
um remember nobody is perfect and if you hear any mistakes in my um <laughs> live video hey that's me we are all imperfect you know but have a great weekend get courage be who god has called you to be remember your dreams are possible take care god bless you bye <laughs>